Hi guys, and welcome to Yoga for a Better Night's Sleep. Uh, in this short video, I'm gonna go over some yoga poses that will help to decrease uh, stress and anxiety in your life, which will help you have a better night's sleep, but then also it's gonna help kick in your parasympathetic nervous system, which will help calm your mind down and just to make you feel better uh, getting into bed and then letting things go so you won't have you know the tossing and turning throughout the night. The things you will need here uh, are a bolster, a yoga blanket, um, a block or two, and you could even use a strap. If you don't have a yoga bolster, my advice would be um, maybe grabbing some pillows and you can use that instead. And you can always use some yoga blocks um, with the pillows to help you know, give it a little bit more of a solid feel. So that would be fine. And then, you know, use as many blankets as you might need. So we're gonna begin by doing a little breathing technique called alternate uh, nostril breathing. And this is a great way to calm the mind down, okay? Uh, and it's a wonderful one, to, again, to do right before you go to sleep here. So you're gonna sit nice and tall, and you can take your, you know, whichever hand, your right or left hand, whichever feels more comfortable with you. And all we're gonna do here is you can take your thumb, and you can work with your thumb in your, um, index finger, or you can always work with your thumb and the ring finger or the middle finger, your choice. But we're gonna go ahead and exhale out of both nostrils, okay? Inhale again, and then I want you to close off the right nostril with your thumb, and then you're gonna exhale out of the left nostril. Okay, and then you're gonna close off the left nostril with whichever finger, and then inhale through the right nostril. Close off the right nostril, exhale out of left, inhale through the left, close off left, exhale right, inhale right nostril, close off right, exhale left. You inhale left. Close off left, exhale right. Inhaling right and then closing off and exhaling left and then continue here at your own pace for just a couple moments. And then sip of the nostril, exhale through, you'll inhale then you'll close off that nostril and exhale through the opposite. Next time you exhale through the left nostril, go ahead and release. Let's take a moment to notice how you feel. And also know that you can do this a little bit longer and you can do it anytime you're feeling some stress and you need your mind to really calm down, okay? And you can even do it uh, right when you get into bed to help calm the mind down a little bit more. All right, so the first yoga pose that we're going to do now is we're going to go right into a little child's pose, okay? So you have your bolster and you have maybe your blanket and you can stack them on top of each other, all right? And this is a nice reclined child's pose where you actually kneel before the blanket and the bolster, and you're gonna have them in front of you. And then you're just gonna bring your torso and head down in contact with the bolster and blanket. And the arms can be right alongside the body, and you can turn your head to the side, like you're you know, just resting yourself right there on that bolster and blanket, and just work on lengthening the tailbone down, and you can just hang out right here. For some of us, it could feel good to have your blocks out in front of you. You could put your, your hands or your forearms up on your blocks. 
And that just could feel good, you know, for a little extra support, maybe in the arms. Just breathe in and out. And keep lengthening that tailbone down. And if you need to make any adjustments, you can do that. You know, if you're too low, you can always put blocks underneath the blanket there to give a little lift. Okay, and then I want you to inhale. And when you exhale, gently turn your head and look the opposite way. And let those shoulders go down your back. And let the sit bones just get heavy and feel them lengthening towards the ground. Good, or take a nice deep, deep breath in. Full exhalation out. And just slowly begin to roll on up here. And then we'll just gently turn ourselves around and we're going to be off of our bolster and then I want you to take your blanket instead of having it go vertical turn it horizontally on your bolster so it's going to give you a, a little support for your head like a little pillow and if you have a short short bolster you may want to take a block take it off of that bolster and then put that blanket on that block and then that way you have some support for your head okay but you're going to go ahead and Sit off of the bolster, and you can either bring your feet together or have your legs just extended straight out in front of you. Again, we're off the bolster. And all you're gonna do is inhale, lift your heart, the hands can be on the ground, and you're gonna just gently roll back onto the bolster, okay? And you're gonna bring your head in a nice position on that blanket, and if you need to you know, fold it over, so it gives a little more support, like a pillow under the head, that you could do that. And then the arms go alongside the body, palms face up at about a 45 degree angle, and just feel the shoulder blades work towards each other and go down the back and have a little lift in the sternum. Sits bones are pressing down. And then we're gonna hold here. And if it's too much to be in this, you know, position, uh, like a, a bow pose with the feet together, you could always just extend your legs straight out and this could feel, you know, amazing for you. So just breathing in. Breathing out. Just follow your breath. And let the tension just melt right off the muscles. A little lift in your sternum. Let your neck be long and let it be relaxed.
Let's take a nice deep, deep breath in. Full exhalation out. And then you can gently bend the knees so the knees are pointed towards the ceiling and the feet are touching the ground. And then just gently roll off the bolster and onto the side of your body. And just pause here for a moment, okay? In that fetal position there. And then gently press yourself up. Okay? And then we're going to just swing the legs around in front of us. And this is where, you know, having the bolster is going to be really great and supportive. Us. We're going to come in right into a nice straight-legged forward fold. And you're also more, uh, more than welcome to, you know, if you have... The opportunity to put blocks on the ground. You can sit on blocks and then put the bolster right here up on your thighs. And if needed, you can put your blanket, you know, on top of the bolster. You can do the extra lift. Or you can take that blanket and slide it underneath the hamstrings or the knees and roll it up so the knees might be bent a little bit. So there's some support here. And then you'll lift your chest up and inhale. And then when you exhale, you're just going to come forward. And your whole body's going to rest on that bolster. And again, if you need to, if you have the extra props, you may have to have that blanket also on top of the bolster. And then the hands can rest on the bolster. And you can just turn your head to look right or left. All right, so just gently taking care of yourself. The arms could come off the bolster and just rest on the ground. And if it's too uncomfortable sitting on your blocks, pop off those blocks, okay? You don't have to be on them. Letting the shoulders relax. Breathing in and out. Feeling the support here in the supported forward fold. Taking a nice deep, deep breath in. Full exhalation out. And you're gently rolling up. And removing the props. All right, this last pose is going legs up the wall. If you don't have a wall, you can use a chair or you can actually even be in your bedroom and have your legs go up onto your bed as an alternative, okay? So you just head to a wall and some of us, this is where a yoga strap can come into play. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, you take a yoga strap and put a loop in it and have, you know, the, the loop about as wide as your hips, and you put that strap around your legs and then take it up above the knees. So when your legs are going up, the legs can rest in the strap. 
be supported and it supports the hamstrings. You may also want a block and a blanket, okay? So if you have that wall space, go to the wall space. You have the right side of the wall. You're gonna lean back and then swing the legs up onto the wall, okay? And have your six bones close to the wall and your lower back on the ground. If you're really far away from the wall, see if we can get a little closer, or you could always put that block against the wall so your six bones will touch the block. Another option here for you is to actually lift the pelvis up and take that block underneath that lower back there and give a nice little lift. And if you need the extra support too, put the blanket under the head, supporting yourself there. Make sure, you know, anything else strap-wise is out of the way. And then take the arms to about a 45 degree angle palm space up. And then let the legs relax into the strap. Let the feet splay to the side. Make any adjustments you need to. And if you don't need the block underneath you, don't be on it. It's all good. And let your breath become shallow. The muscles get heavy. And first, just focus on breathing in and out. Just imagine as if the muscles were getting heavier and heavier, and they're soaking down into the ground. The tension from the day in the last year completely melt off of your body as everything soaks into the earth. And then you could stay here for a couple minutes, five or ten minutes. Stay as long as you like. And then when you're ready, you bring your legs down and you head off to bed. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Take care of yourself. We're all getting better. And make sure we take care of each other, too, all right? We'll see you guys soon. Namaste.